Using the conservation of momentum, the slug force can be computed. The force on the elbow is caused by the momentum of the mass that is decelerated in one direction. This momentum is influenced by the velocity, the density and the area. The formula for the force on the elbow is therefore F equals rho times A times V squared, or force is equal to the density multiplied by the inner pipe area and the velocity of the slug squared. Note that since the velocity is squared, an increase in flow rate greatly increases the forces in the model. The second force is due to the acceleration of the slug in the other direction, pushing back on the pipe where it came from. So what sort of forces can be expected from a slug traveling through a piping system? As an example, a slug formed by water traveling at 5 meters per second in a 6 inch pipe gives a force of about 450 newton, while at 10 meters per second it increases to almost 2 kilonewtons. Pipes are often designed such that liquid travels at around 3 meters per second. The slugs, however, travel with the gas, which usually has a much higher velocity. The process department can often use software tools to compute the slug velocity, density and length. This can then be used as an input in the static and dynamic analysis of a piping system. Vibrations from slugs often are related to low frequencies and high amplitudes. These frequencies can sometimes be related back to the slug period, so the time between the two different slugs traveling through the system. These parameters are all important to do an analysis of a slug.